Hey, and welcome to a new video here on the channel. Recently, Segway launched the Navamo i series with new lawn mowing robots. At my home, the Navamo i105 has been cruising around the garden for some time now. In this video, you'll learn about the advantages of omitting a boundary wire and how the robot performed in my everyday test. Navimo introduced two models with the i-series. Firstly, we have the i-105, which can mow an area of up to 500 square meters with a battery life of up to 60 minutes and a charging time of 90 minutes. Additionally, there's the i-108, capable of mowing up to 800 square meters with a battery life of up to 120 minutes and a charging time of 180 minutes. First, let's take a look at the contents of the package, which is very comprehensive. Initially, we have the actual robot itself, the base station, the instructions, a box containing all sorts of accessories such as antennas, various cables, anchors, replacement blades, and much more. I also have an antenna extension kit and the Navimo Access Plus 4G module. This is installed on the underside of the robot, allowing you to have a 4G connection in addition to a Wi-Fi connection. Now let's move on to the installation, which is actually very straightforward. First, download the Navimo app where you'll be guided step by step through the setup process. Now, you'll need to find a suitable spot for the base station and secure it in the ground. The RDK antenna will be connected to it. It's important to ensure that there are no obstacles 2 meters to the side and above for satellite communication. Choose a location that meets these requirements, ensuring the robot has a good connection to the antenna across the entire lawn area. Next, the Navimo i105 can be placed on the base station, and activation and pairing in the app can be carried out, which is also very straightforward. Now let's discuss a significant advantage. These models do not require a boundary wire to be buried in the ground. Instead, everything operates via GPS through the EFFLES 2.0 RDK antenna. This significantly simplifies the setup process. Using the app, you'll drive along the edge of the lawn, much like operating a remote-controlled car. It's crucial to drive along the edge quite closely, or if the lawn is level with the pavement or path adjacent to it, you can drive slightly offset to ensure optimal mowing of the lawn area. Additionally, there's an AI mapping function where the mower autonomously navigates along the lawn edges through AI. Since I have two separate lawn areas, I've designated a transition zone between them so the robot can move from one lawn to the other. Moreover, it's possible to set up exclusion zones, for instance, areas the robot should avoid. Now let's get started. On the top side, you can adjust the cutting height from 20 to 60 millimeters. The cutting width is 18 centimeters. The mower now systematically navigates its packs, and it works really well. In my experience, I haven't encountered issues such as uneven cutting, missed areas, or getting stuck. I was pleasantly surprised by this. In addition to RDK, Navimo also employs camera-based detection. You can see it on the top side where obstacles like raspberry bushes are recognized and avoided. Even temporary obstacles on the lawn are detected and navigated around. If an obstacle is removed during mowing, the robot will revisit the area later to complete the mowing. Thanks to vision fence technology, the mower can recognize and interpret over 20 obstacles using AI, including bushes, trampolines, fences, balls, garden tools, animals, a grill, and much more. Since I've installed the 4G module, there's also the option for theft protection. If the robot were to be stolen, I can locate it using the Navimo app, which is extremely convenient. Furthermore, it ensures a stable connection as Wi-Fi coverage in the garden is often suboptimal. The robot's design is very minimalist, and above all, the model is compact. I really like the orange accents. The robot is equipped with a lithium-ion battery and if the battery runs low during mowing, it automatically returns to the base station to recharge before continuing the mowing process. The wheels have a diameter of 9.65 inches, allowing it to handle slopes of up to 30% without any issues or getting stuck in wet conditions. Additionally, it boasts an IP66 certification, making it well equipped to withstand weather conditions. By the way, there's also an option to purchase a shelter for the base station separately. Regarding the mowing results, I'm very satisfied. It mows in systematic patterns, resulting in a truly impressive finish. As for the noise level, the i105 reaches 58 decibels. The blades on the underside are also easily replaceable if they become dull. Replacement blades are included in the package, as mentioned earlier. 
In the app, you can always see the current live position of the mower as well as the area mode and progress and percentage. Additionally, you can directly start or stop the mowing process or even command the robot to return to the base station. I particularly appreciate the app's clean and well-organized design, but there's much more to explore. For instance, you can choose whether to mow the entire area or just specific zones of the garden. In the settings, you can define a mowing schedule, selecting the times for mowing and adjusting different zones as needed. This functionality is very intuitive. Moreover, you can manage the map, activate theft protection, adjust lighting and sound effects, and tweak vision fence and EFL's 2.0 settings, among other features. On the top right of the home screen, the app also offers direct support in case you have any questions or encounter issues with the mower. Overall, I am extremely satisfied with the Navimo i105 in my daily life. Its sleek design is worth mentioning, but above all, the setup without the use of boundary wires makes things much easier. Additionally, its reliance on EFL's 2.0 and Vision Fence makes it very reliable in obstacle detection. Priced at just $999, the i105 model offers an incredible array of features, making it a fantastic value for money in my opinion. You can find all the links in the description, so be sure to check them out. And with that, we've reached the end of the video. Thank you for watching, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Until next time.